Hi guys, just running backwards through my Tinkercad design for this glider. Uh, I've called it Grand Wazzer simply because Tinkercad automatically allocates random names to the files when you create them and normally you'd rename them to whatever you want. I just thought Grand Wazzer was rather a good name for the glider. It's based on a design that I was sent a link to on YouTube, so I'll put a link to it in the video description. It's not a direct copy. Um, it's just me looking at the video and trying to work out how it was put together. Uh, what we're actually doing on the screen at the moment is going backwards through the design. So I'd finished the design and then I thought it might be handy if I go backwards through it so that you guys can see uh, how I made the component parts or put it together just using the standard shapes available on Tinkercad. So there's nothing clever here, it's just f use the uh, bits, the shapes and put them together and we end up with a glider. Uh, you'll have to watch the later videos to see whether it actually flies. But the intention was to cover it with a very thin film. Uh, a very thin film of soapy water. So it looks a little bit like one of those uh, wand wands that you use for blowing bubbles. You dip it in the wa bubbly water then blow through it and the bubbles form. Well, it's using the same basic principle. You dip it in soapy water and the surface tension forms a single skin across the uh, wings and tail. Again, you'll have to wait till the later video to find out whether that actually works. At the moment, I'm just talking through here, so I've got something in the background. Because when I just recorded this, there is no audio. It's just a flat, single print. Wings, tail, and a rod up the middle for the fuselage. And that um, cylinder at the end there is the noseway which you just slide down the end of the fuselage and slide it forwards and backwards to adjust the centre of gravity. I think that's about it. I will just show you it on uh, the pr print program Cura. Just ultimate yeah, ultimator. I can't even say the word. Ultimaker. Ultimaker Cura. As you can see on the screen there, it's going to take 32 minutes to print, which is pretty quick for most of my prints. So we'll do a quick time lapse of it printing, and then we'll have a look at the finished article. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.